How's it going everybody? Thank you for watching this video and just a quick note, if you guys are subscribed or if you guys haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe and when you do, click this little bell here on my channel and get all notifications sent to you from my channel, that way you guys can be updated with all of my channel updates and uploads and whatever else I do on here. Thanks for watching. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Source Code. My name is Deshaun and today we're going to be looking at changing mob drops and setting our own custom mob drops. Um, so once again, make sure to follow me on GitHub, all the code will be available to you guys on there. Lastly, make sure not to skip around this video or you guys could miss a line of code which could greatly affect the outcome of your plugin and you don't want that. So the first thing we're going to be doing is head over to your events class. If you've been following along with the tutorial, you should have a class similar to this. Um, so try to get something, uh, something like this. Um, basically you just need to register an events class in your to, or your main class and then implement a listener and then you can go ahead and do everything in here. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and say public void and this is going to be mob death and it's going to be entity death event and we're going to call it event and let's go ahead and import that and so the first thing we want to do here is we want to get the entity entity e equals event dot get entity and we're actually going to change this from entity to living entity that allows us to get certain values not necessarily we're going to be using them um, but it allows us to get some values that we may possibly need and then what we want to do is we want to set the the death drops for um, different mobs right so say you're making a custom server and you want custom entities that have custom drops or you you just want entities, you want all of the entities of say a pig to drop cooked pork or something like that, right? So what we want to go ahead and say, we want to say if e instance of pig, we are going to, I always spell instance wrong, instance of pig, and let me weather clear so if it is an instance of pig, we're going to go ahead and import that. But the first thing we want to do is we want to clear all of the drops, right? So we want to go ahead and say event.get drops.clear. So now no matter what, all of the drops are cleared, no matter the MPC or no matter the, the mob that gets called, right? So then we're going to say if E is an instance of pig, we're going to go ahead and say E dot get location dot get world dot drop naturally and we can go ahead and create a bunch of new item stacks here for what's going to drop or if you have custom items you can go ahead and um, do that so we're going to do a pig dot get location and we're just going to go ahead and do a new item item stack and it's going to material dot cooked uh, cooked beef even though I know that's not what they actually drop, but that's okay. Uh, actually, no, let's go ahead and do a material dot. I thought grilled pork, that's what it is, grilled pork. So it's gonna drop grilled pork. Um, also, we're gonna get dropped exp. We're gonna, I wanna get rid of uh, the exp deal, so set dropped exp. We'll set it to zero for now, so they're not gonna drop any experience when they die, and they're not gonna drop any items besides this custom one if they're a pig. And we also wanna, let's have it drop, uh, let's just have it drop wheat. Okay, so what it's going to do is it's going to drop one pork and one wheat whenever a pig dies. So let's kill this pig. And you can see there, it dropped one grilled pork in one wheat and there might be a particularly better way to do the drops but I think this is probably the easiest way uh, to do your drops um, and we can do this with any mob now it doesn't necessarily have to be a pig right so we can change this instance of we can also change the amount we could drop change this to 10 um, and now it's gonna drop 10 grilled pork uh, whenever a pig dies and you can see we're still using our name thing there so we can see there we have 11 now we have two um, so this is pretty neat, especially for custom service, because you can spawn um, your own custom items in. So if I made a custom item, um, let me see if I got any, 
I don't really want to spend a whole lot of time making a custom item. But if I made a custom item, I could look through an array if I saved it to an array, and I could get that item uh, that way. Um, but then we're going to say, so if it is, we are just going to return because we don't need to we don't need to go any further in, in the code. You don't have to do returns. Returns can kind of get sloppy sometimes. Um, so actually, no, I'll just take that out. So then we're going to say, uh, else if, I'll just copy and paste that, e is instance of, let's say, creeper. We're going to drop, let's just get rid of that because we only want to drop one. We are going to drop TNT. And we're also going to drop Fireball, sure. That looks good. So this, like I said, this can be really, really useful if you are going to create your own custom server. Maybe oh, I'd have mobs turned off. Um, so if you're going to create your own custom server, this could work out very, very well for you from uh, having if you have custom entities and you want custom drops. Um, so let me just server property server spawn mobs spawn monsters true we'll just change that to true for now uh, it does kind of get really annoying when I have mobs on um, let me fix this really quick it's really bothering me uh, we're going to change that to an integer because we don't want a float. We just want solid values. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so you, if we kill him, I didn't realize they took so much to kill. You can see there he dropped a fireball and a TNT. And I think we can throw this, can't we? Oh, maybe not. Um, but yeah, so that is how you can change a mob drops. And now you can do the same thing for a player, right? It doesn't have to be necessarily um, a creeper, right? So if we can say else if ease instance of player go ahead and import player we can go ahead and say drop um, we could actually keep it as all of their items or we can go ahead and say um, that they're just going to drop an apple that is all they're going to drop they're only going to drop an apple when they die so if we do slash kill and we fly up you can see there that all my other items disappeared and all I was left with was this mere apple. And so that is how you can change your entities drops. And that is all I got for you guys in this video. Short and quick. Um, I like to keep this video as short and quick as possible. But if you guys have any questions, feel free to join me on Discord. We have lots of people on the Discord now. I think we have almost 30 people on our Discord. Um, it's really growing. It's really awesome. Um, we have coding help in there. So if you guys are running into issues with your own servers and your own coding, uh, you can head over onto there and we can help you out. But once again, make sure to follow me on Twitter at the underscore source underscore code. And thank you guys so much for watching.